Welcome everyone to Essay Writing for University and this is the first of your uh, weekly uh, introductory lectures um, to the material and so this week before week one we spend a little bit of time thinking about how to plan and prepare so that you are going to get the most out of completing this course EWU. So let's have a look at what exactly you need to do this week. First of all, uh, it's important to know what to expect uh, from this course. It is not uh, the same in terms of the way it runs um, in comparison to some of the other courses that you will do in the STEPS program. So let's get that really clear right from the beginning so you know what you should be expecting and what um, you might need to ask questions about. So if you're an internal student you will be attending class on campus and you will get two two-hour tutorials with your campus lecturer each week. If you're a distance student, you will not attend any classes obviously because you're studying externally, but you will be assigned a lecturer who will support you and they are your designated support lecturer for the course and they will introduce themselves to you via the Moodle discussion forums. You will use the full uh, resources um, and activities and instructions that you'll find on this Moodle site for EWU and you will there be able to access all the study material that you need for the course and you may also be able to access that in hard copy. Um, you should have this term been sent that material and you should have a study guide which is your central resource for the course and the Harvard referencing guide which is going to be vital as we move through the weeks. So unlike preparation skills for university which many of you may have already completed or you may be undertaking this term there will be no long recorded lecture um, EWU doesn't operate that way but you will get a short um, weekly introductory lecturer from the course coordinator me um, that will go for about 10 minutes and the purpose of that introductory lecture is to make sure you understand what the goals and aims are for you for the particular week. So what you need to do, where you should be up to if you're on track um, and what you might need to be asking questions about in terms of the concepts and things that we will cover. There will also be a post to the Moodle News Forum that you'll receive in your email um, inbox every Monday that will also direct you to what you need to be doing and um, Moodle will also um, always be up to date with clear directions to the activities and the assessment that you should be undertaking. So what you need to do this week in the week before week one um, are the following things. Please make sure that you have either printed out or saved the course profile as a PDF document or both if you prefer from the link on Moodle which is at the top left hand of this Moodle site, left hand um, corner of this Moodle site. Read through the course profile very carefully in particular noting the assessment due dates. So uh, there are four assessment pieces in essay writing for university and so if you're undertaking other courses as well this term in the STEPS program you need to start right now planning your time management and knowing when those assessments are going to be due. The other thing you need to do is read the introduction section of the study guide uh, and make sure that you understand everything that's in there so that just works through in more detail some of the guidelines as to how this course will run. The other thing you can do is introduce yourself in the introduction forum on Moodle um, and your lecturers will do that also. Uh, and then complete the other activities that you will see in this weekly topic and some of these I've mentioned already and there's a couple of other short videos for you to watch that will also help you understand exactly what to expect from essay writing for university. So your aim this week is to have a clear understanding of what's ahead in EWU. Make sure that you have asked any questions that you have about that by using Moodle or by speaking to your lecturer if you're an internal student and you need to be ready and motivated to start module one in the study guide um, when we officially begin the course next week in week one. 
So I look forward to speaking with you again um, very soon.